Amazing. Okay, hello, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to your roundtable. I'm so sorry, first of all, I just want to say for starting a little bit later than we anticipated. Unfortunately, we were having some major tech issues, or at least I was having some major tech issues in accessing everything. And so um, we're just running a little bit behind, but nonetheless, we are here, we are excited, and we are ready to share all of our stories and our messages. So um, what I really want to do is just kind of dive in because the whole reason why we're doing this roundtable, one of the things that is so important about this roundtable is the idea that, you know, we can tell you at FitChix Academy, like as one of the co-founders of the company, I can tell you about our experience of creating FitChix and I can tell you about our experience of, you know, seeing all of our graduates and do all the amazing things that they're doing in this world. But I think hearing it from others and hearing not only their successes, but also some things of, you know, where they were at before they even got started and being able to see what that pathway could look like for them, but also for you is just so powerful because it's a message that just allows for you to see what is possible, right? And so um, we're going to start off and I'm going to go through and chat with each and every one of our panelists today. Um, today, we are so fortunate. We have um, Kai joining us. We have Rosemary, um, Corinne, Susie, Karina. Um, and we're just like, these are all like incredible women that are a part of our academy, that are a part of our community and that have all went on different pathways, right? And so whether they are just, you know, still finishing up the program or just starting in their business or have been launching their business for a few years, they all have different messages and different um, situations and journeys. So um, without further ado, I want to get started right away and I'm going to start with Karina. Um, so Karina, why don't you tell a little bit more about who you are, um, a little bit more about like your background, why you got started in this industry, and I guess, you know, where you were at in life before you even got started with FitChix Academy. Sure. So hi, everyone. My name is Karina, and um, I actually have probably been a graduate in the fitness and nutrition as a fitness and nutrition professional for about a year now. Uh, prior to this, I was actually in the uh, CPG world consumer packaged goods world. And I was a marketer. Um, and really, I think uh, once COVID hit, I mean, it's always been a stressful job, but I was definitely putting more in than your uh, nine to five. And it, um, got to a point where it consumed me a little, quite a bit. Um, and in the back of my mind, I've always really enjoyed fitness, um, anything that was fitness related. I actually, this the course was great in terms of exposing me to the nutrition side that I've never really thought much of. Um, and so, yeah, I decided might be a good plan B. You never know what's going to happen. So I decided to get my certification. And then right now I'm actually also com completing or I'm in the midst of um, working on the holistic weight loss coach certification. And I am thoroughly enjoying that. Um, and so that, that is still in the works. My hope is to be able to graduate by March. Um, but I have always, like I said, had that, that passion. And I started my own business called back to body health, uh, last summer. And so I've taught a few boot camps. Um, just recently I quit my full-time job, I would say, um, this past summer. So I've been, yeah, I've been going for about <laughs> a year now and, uh, or not a year, sorry, six, I guess almost six months now. Um, and I've got a great group of, of women. Our community is quite small. I'm in Caledon, East Ontario in Canada. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of getting that going, trying to get the momentum going. And um, it's been a really great experience. That's amazing. And, um, you know, I do want to know a little bit more about sort of your transformation side, but one question I do have, because I know you're saying that you are taking our holistic nutrition program currently, and you graduated from the fitness and nutrition program previously. Yes. How have you found that the holistic nutrition program has complemented your education? Because that's a big question right now, you know, with our Fit Chicks Academy certification bundles that we're selling, where we're offering both certifications as one package, because we truly believe that they complement each other so well, and it provides you with a more in-depth understanding of holistic health and nutrition. What is your experience with that so far, just as someone who's actually going through that process right now? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, like I said, I've always been such a fan of the fitness side of it. And I knew nutrition was part of it. Um, but I didn't realize 
how big and not only that just realizing there's more to it than just what you eat and you know getting your body moving there's also you know all these other pre-existing conditions um that can be uh minimized or or you know um what's the word i'm looking for but i just i just i didn't realize like i said that there was more to it and i think we all look at it at it as a you know what our weight loss journey may look like but really it's our overall health um, and I, I think my, you know, with the first certification, it really opened my eyes to seeing that there's more to it. And, um, yeah, I thought, you know, trying to pro provide that holistic experience for anyone who is a client, I thought that that would make me more well-rounded and that's why I pursued the certification. Um, and I'm learning so much. So like I said, there's so much more to it and it's been really eye-opening. So it's just like the next level, right? Like the deeper level. And that's sort of how I talk about it as well is it's like, you're getting your foundations with the fitness and nutrition program, but then with the holistic nutrition program, it's like your deep dive into holistic health coaching and giving you that big eye-opening experience of really diving deep now, once you have the foundations in place to understand the baseline of nutrition. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I would say, you know, my hope is that for some clients who have had an interest in, you know, possibly doing some personal training, I can take them that next step further and just say, let's take a look at your entire lifestyle to really be able to evaluate and make the changes necessary, not just from a fitness perspective, but also, you know, uh, talking nutrition, um, sleep, stress, all of those things that come into effect that we don't really consider. I love that. And so what would you say? I mean, your biggest transformation personally and professionally, what would you say those two things would be since taking um, the certifications with Fit Chicks Academy? Um, so I feel like my, my biggest one is it's almost a bit of both personal and professional. Um, I feel like, you know, I was, I've done nine to five. I've done that kind of job, I should say, um, all, all my career. So to be able to take charge of your career in such a different way where now it's like, I have to be accountable if I want, if I want to grow my clientele, you know, I need to do X, Y, and Z to be able to grow my base. And so I think just being able to take charge of my career is it's just, I, I'm really accountable for it. And um, I really feel like I, I haven't had, I haven't been put in that seat before. So I, it really is what you make of it. And I feel like it's so closely tied to how we manage our health, right? It really is up to us as to, you know, the goals that we set and what we decide to do to be able to achieve those goals. So, um, yeah, I kind of almost feel like my success is really on me. I, it, it's not like before where it's like, you know, you kind of like, quote unquote, punch in, punch out. It really is up to me in terms of what success looks like. And it's dependent on the amount of time and effort that I want to put in. Oh my gosh, that almost made my heart explode when you said that, because I love that so much because it's so true. It's like, it's the feeling, the realization can sometimes feel a little scary in that way of knowing that it's like, this is, you know, it, it is reliant on your decisions, but at the same time, it's so powerful, right? To know that like, it is your choice to decide how much you want to put in and then where you want to take it and what you want to create for it. So I agree with you on that. Now, what would you say, you know, would be one of the biggest things that was like a blow your mind moment that you experienced during the certification or since you've graduated from the programs? So I'm so sorry. I'm, I didn't have dingers here going off. No, okay. um, you know, I think um, the content is itself was really, um, like I said, eye opening. I know I've, I've said that a few times, but it really was. Um, <laughs> I thought I knew, you know, I, I've tried to take care of my health, but I, there were so many, um, you guys have just covered such a wide array of content. And in terms of like those, those three big moments, um, you know, it's, it's scary how reliant we are on traditional medicine. And I'm not knocking it because, you know, I have family members who have pre-existing conditions is definitely, I, I definitely feel that traditional medicine is important, but I didn't realize how much we rely on it. And we need to really take matters into our own hands when it comes to our health. Real, like if, if we're not doing that, then we're at the mercy of, you know, potential medication that can do more damage than not. So I think really um, understanding what your alternatives are in terms of, you know, I think it's definitely part of, um, 
health in general, right? Having those options. But I think um, looking at the other options that really, you know, nature has provided us with is definitely something we need to do. And that's where I think that whole list, that idea of the holistic um, approach really comes to play. Um, I also feel like I was, I was, it was one of the documentaries. It was one of the assignments actually in the current certification that I'm working right now. And I can't believe that we are at a point where more people are dying from being obese than they are of starvation. And that was like, I know that's like so specific, but it's so fresh in my mind. And it just goes to show like, once again, we're reliant on others versus us taking charge of our health. And I think if we really did take charge of our health, then maybe we we would understand, and this is where knowledge also comes into play, but we would also understand it's back coming back to us, um, what we decide to do with, uh, with our health. Um, and, and I'm trying to think of what my third point was. Let me, sorry, I do have my, my notes handy just in case. Um, like what you're saying, I think is really about just, you know, really taking charge and being your own advocate for your own health, right? Really just absolutely. deciding and, and educating yourself in a way that feels good for you. Yes, absolutely. And then I think um, the, the last point I would say is, like I was saying at the very beginning, there's more to um, your health than just nutrition and fitness. Um, so I think nutrition is extremely important. And, you know, when I talk to my clients, that's how I address it. That's for me, 80 for the 20, but there's so much more that's tied to your nutrition and how you manage your health. Um, then you realize like all of the, you know, conditions. And then my clientele does happen to be women in their forties. So then we start talking about perimenopause and, you know, stress factors and all of these other things that are, are impacting their health that they're not even taking into consideration. For sure. And I think it's, it's, those are the important conversations that need to keep happening and that are probably the most important conversations to be having. And I think the good thing is, is that I think that the com those kind of conversations are things that are happening more and more now. Like people are more open to it and realizing that those conversations do need to happen with a health coach or with naturopathic doctors or with trainers and coaches, you know, and I think people are becoming more open to that and realizing that um, they do, you know, they do have to feel comfortable talking about what's happening in their health and in their life. Now, what would you say, um, Karina, what would you say is your biggest piece of advice that you would give to someone that's looking to get started in the industry? So thinking back to before you got started, because you were in that position, right? You were working your full-time nine to five job or nine to probably eight job. And you were working those crazy hours and you were kind of in this position where you're like, I love health and fitness, but I don't really know what I would do with it. What would be your biggest piece of advice to someone in that same position as you? Yeah, I would say it's never too late to really pursue something that you're passionate about. And I think that was what where I had a hard time. Um, I feel like I've always been a, mar a marker at heart, but I had lost that passion. And if you're spending more, um, in my case, more than half of your waking hours every day, and something that just brings you down and doesn't lift your, lift your, you know, who you are, um, then is it really worth it? That's probably what's causing all, you know, having all of those impacts on your health, like the stress, like the lack of sleep. And that personally, that was the situation for me. So I really don't feel like it's never too late. And yes, you do take a big leap of faith, but in the end, you know, we only have one life to live on this earth and you have to make the most out of it. And I have no regrets, um, no regrets taking this, this leap of faith. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. And of course, for everyone watching and everyone um, listening, just so you're aware, all of the contact details for all of our coaches here will be available for you in the show notes. So make sure that you check it out so that you can contact Karina if you have any other questions. Um, so Karina, thanks so much. Now, Thank you. Um, now I'm going to move on. Um, Rosemary, hello. Hi. <laughs> I am going to... Um, go through similar questions with you, if you don't mind. I'd love to know if you can share a little bit more about your journey and introduce yourself, share a little bit more about where you were at before you got started as a coach and before you got started with Fitchix Academy. So before I got started with Fitchix Academy, I was actually thinking about my health already. I was joining the gym in 2019 at the end of the summer. However, the December, it was just before we were going on holidays in December and I was in a highway collision. So it just 
broke me. And I was like, I need to do something. I, but I don't know how to. And my coach couldn't help me because she didn't know anything about concussions. She didn't know about how we could move forward with my body and what that looked like. So it was, I was scrolling and I saw fit chicks and, and I work in, uh, as well, a nine to five job. So it was like, okay, am I meant for more than just these four walls? Like I, I think I'm made for more. So that's where, uh, when I had decided, you know what, I'm, I'm going to dive in. So I started 3E Health and Fitness. Um, so my 3E stands for Embody, Express and Embrace. Basically where you're at in the moment you're in and, and give yourself that grace to express what you feel because how we're feeling, we normally keep that inside. And that's not what I wanted to do for myself because I was so frustrated, like my body, it's not working how do I do this? And how do I help others who have been in the same situation as I have? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, and that's, I mean, that's such a powerful thing to share. Thank you so much for sharing that because I think it's, you know, there's a lot of people that feel that are probably in similar situations, right? I always say like, there are billions of people in this world and there are so many, probably tens of thousands of people that can relate to exactly how you felt. They probably can see themselves in that same position, Right. Um, maybe even hundreds of thousands. And so it's just understanding that, you know, by sharing your message and sharing your story and by sharing your truth, you're able to impact so many people. And I, I think that by recognizing that and by stepping into this leadership role, which is what you've done, it's, you're now empowering others to be able to see what's possible for them. So that's amazing. Now, what yeah, it was really think? hard to see that. Of course, of course. And it's something that's not always it's never really going to be evident. Right. And I think it's like, you just have this spark, this knowing inside of, did you feel that inside of you? That kind of like, it's almost like there was a bit of like a, like a light inside of you, whenever you would think about health and wellness, or whenever you would kind of like think about stepping into this, would it light you up? Would it excite you at all before you? Absolutely. And when, yep. And when I started Epony and then I took the holistic weight loss coach as well, it was like, this is what I needed. Right. Right. No, that's amazing. And I think it's just listening to that voice. Right. And I talk about this a lot, um, on our podcast, in our communication, in our, of course, our community. I know that all of you have heard me talk about this probably a million times over that it's like, you have to listen to that inner voice. That inner dialogue is telling you this for a reason. And when you follow it, that's when it leads you to the right pathway. And when you allow it to, and you just listen a little more carefully. Now, what would you say in terms of your own personal transformations? So same question that I was asking Karina, what would you say has been your biggest transformation, both personally and then also professionally since graduating from the academy? So personally, that transformation was learning, I can do hard things. Like I can do hard things. Professionally, for me, it was, I don't have to fear the unknown and I don't have to fear the uncomfortable. I can jump in. It's not going to feel great. It's probably going to feel icky, but just do it Yeah. because I wasn't going to. And then it was like, no, I just do it. It's uncomfortable. It's going to feel gross in, in some parts (laughs) and pieces, but even just thinking of a name for the business or those kinds of things. And it was sitting there and going, it's okay. I'm fearful of the unknown, but that's okay. Yeah, it really is. It's like embracing. There was another one of our graduates. I remember her saying once, it's like, embrace the suck, like embrace it. Just like, (laughs) let it just overcome you and be like, it's cool. It's going to happen. And I'm just okay with it because all it can do is get better. Right. All it can do is like, is dissipate. Like it'll only like that fear, that anxiety, that like fear of the unknown, all it'll do is dissipate action is the only thing that will move you out of that anxious state or that fearful state, right? Is moving to help you move forward. You have to take action. And so I love that. I love that. You're just like, I'm just going to do it. And it's going to feel gross (laughs) now. (laughs) Now, what has been like in terms of during the program itself, what was your experience like? And what was one thing during the program that was like completely mind blowing to you that you were just like, I can't even believe that. Like I had no idea. It's always, and I think for me, it's always been your message. You can start anything at any time, at any stage. Just that for me 
was the pick me up and the, the drive to move forward every single day was I can do this. It doesn't matter what stage I'm at. doesn't matter what age I'm at. doesn't matter. I can do it. And that message stuck with me every time I opened up my laptop to do my assignments. I love that. I love that. And now you've adopted that message and you, it's like, it's a part yeah. of you. And now you share that message with the world too, which is incredible. That's, and I love that. Yeah, so much. I love it. And then what would you say would be your biggest piece of advice then that you would give to someone who, again, is in, like I said, there are probably tens of thousands of people in this world that have a similar, not maybe the same story, but some sort of like similar feelings or thoughts around, could I really do this? Is this something for me? You know, and what would you say would be your biggest piece of advice for someone paying attention right now or thinking about getting started uh, or joining Fit Chicks Academy? So my message and the thought that really was holding me back at the beginning is, we have to stop listening to the cookie cutter message that the fitness industry is giving us. We are not cookie cutters. We are all different. We're all different shapes. We all have different needs. We all have different health journeys. And it's about just diving in. Don't listen to that negative message that we have to look one way because we don't. Mm -hmm. We have to be authentic to ourselves. Mm -hmm. No, And I agree with that. And you know that that is definitely that is what we stand for at Fitchicks Academy, right? Is we need more people, more representation um, in this industry so that people can see themselves in, within others and leading them essentially and be able to be inspired by people that they connect with. And so I love that. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much, Rosemary, for sharing with us and for joining us. Thank today. you for having me. Yeah, no, so powerful. Um, okay, so now... Um, Kai, we're going to move on to you. Same questions. How are you today? I am wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. So happy to have you here. So nice to see your smiling face. <laughs> I'm fortunate that I get to see it often because <laughs> we work together on another project as well. Um, yes. But I wanted to, um, you know, have you introduce yourself now and just kind of share with our peeps who you are and sort of your background and why you got started in this industry. What was your big why and what did that look like? What did your life look like prior to getting started in, with Fitchicks Academy? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the condensed version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, before I started with Fitchicks Academy, I was a stay-at-home mom. I'm, a, I'm married for almost 20 years, mother of four children. I was a stay-at-home mom, and if you can imagine, with four young kids, their their ages are very close, <laughs> and um, to keep a sense of normalcy, working out for me was my my thing. That was that was what I was able to do to keep myself, um, my mind normal. <laughs> it was my way of escape. It was something where I felt that I was doing this for myself. It wasn't something that I was doing for anybody else. Um, as a mother, as a wife, you're always giving and you're always doing for others. But with fitness, that was something that I was doing for myself. And I was fortunate enough to have some amazing trainers along the way and that really inspired me and encouraged me to want to go into the fitness industry and when I was looking to see oh you know where should I get my certifications from what what you know I was looking at different um, agencies I was looking at different places and then just out of nowhere I saw an ad for fit chicks and and I looked at it and then I noticed, oh, you're in Canada. I live in Canada as well. And said, oh, this is great. This is just what I'm looking for. And I signed up and it took me a while to finish the f &E. So I have both f and &E and the holistic weight loss uh, coach certifications. And it took me a while for the f and &E. You know, as you can imagine, four kids, it was just <laughs> insane. I have one and I'm like, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> but I was able to complete the program. And for all of you listening, if you're thinking about this, I'm telling you, this is the one that you want to go with it. The staff was so supportive. Amanda, Laura, 
um, Sangri, everybody was so supportive. And I, there were times where I would be up at one o'clock in the morning doing my assignments and I would go to do a quiz and something just didn't click right. So I'd send them a message and they'd send it back, say, oh, you just had to do this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but they were so nice about everything. It was just such a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, Okay. So that's where I was before, and now, um, where I'm at now, um, I'm in the pre-launch stages of my own um, online fitness business, yes, and <laughs> <laughs> and I've been working with Amanda with this, and she's been wonderful. If, like I said, if you are thinking about joining Fit Chicks Academy, you will not regret this decision. Very supportive. Um, I've, I, it's, I really, I'm, I'm speechless when it comes to this amount of support and <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so genuine when I say that as a mother, as a wife, you know, sometimes, um, where I live, I don't have a lot of support. So a lot of things falls on my shoulders. So to go through this program, to have that kind of support, uh, phenomenal. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I genuinely am like getting emotional now, especially because I know what's happening in your business. And I'm like, I'm so proud. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell our listeners a little bit more too about sort of the transformation side. So the biggest transformation personally and professionally that you have seen within yourself and your business, right? So what does that look like for you? Okay. So personally, um, <laughs> what I've seen with myself is that I'm able to persevere and complete tedious tasks. <laughs> That's one of the things yeah. that <laughs> um, throughout the, the courses, there are some, some assignments where it's just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I got to do this. And to be able to complete those assignments, I find now that it's a lot easier for me to complete tedious tasks and, and um, very time consuming tasks in my personal life. Um, going through the course both courses, it's it's just fueled my fire as far as being able to persevere and to just keep going and to get to my end goal. Um, professionally, um, I would say that this is really a journey where it's bringing me out of my shell. <laughs> Um, I tell Amanda all the time, Amanda, I'm shy. I don't want to be in front of people. And she's like, you're great. You're great. And, and this is really something where professionally, this is going to bring me out to the front. Now, um, I am an educator um, by profession during the day. Fitness is my passion. Um, I work with young women um, between the ages of 18 and actually 15 and 29. And I work with them about, with confidence and things like that. But I think it's so ironic that even though I can instill that in them, I have a hard time bringing myself out into the front in, camp, in front of cameras and things like that. Um, but this is really bringing me out and I appreciate the experience. And again, I thank you, Amanda, for the encouragement and the support in that. You're welcome. And now we have you on a round table in front of all of our people, <laughs> which is perfect. It's exactly where you need to be and exactly where you all need to be. <laughs> now, what would you say was the one thing in the program or since you graduated that has been like that blow your mind moment? Yeah. So one of the big things that I noticed was that prior to my certification, I would talk to friends and family about um, fitness, nutrition, and you know, just different things that I picked up along the way from my wonderful trainers that I had in the past. And they just kind of like, mm, okay, okay. But since I'm now certified, they listen. And that's a, that's a big thing. Like before it was just like, ah, you know, that's just her doing her thing. But now because I'm certified, they will actually listen. And as I mentioned, I'm an educator. So one time with one of the assignments, I was speaking with some of my coworkers, um, I think about blood sugar levels or something of that nature. And I was just talking about it and they were asking me questions and I was able to answer their questions. Once I graduated, my supervisor said to me, I might need to hire you because you sound like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so that validation there has been one of my biggest like, wow, blow my mind 
moments and I would not have been able to um, provide that type of information had I not gone through the Fitchicks Academy certifications. It's giving you the the confidence and the legitimacy, right? To be able to speak absolutely from to speak from a place of confidence is totally different than speaking from a place of personal experience. There's there is a slight difference, right? Because you had the experience of like your training in the past, but being able to have the education that you're just like, oh no, I really know this now. I don't exactly just, like, I know it. I really know it. It it completely shifts the way that you deliver the information. Absolutely, for sure. And I know you already shared this, but um, in the beginning, but what would be your biggest piece of advice for someone who maybe is a mom, just like you, that was a stay at home mom that is, you know, maybe in a place where they're thinking, could I do this? Could I manage this? Should I do this? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Go for it. Just do it. <laughs> just jump in there and do it. <laughs> um as I mentioned before, they're very supportive. It, I started this back in goodness. I want to say September, maybe 2018 <laughs> for yeah. Epony. And it took me a year, maybe, maybe two years, I think, maybe two years to actually get through everything. I had to continue, I had to restart, which was fine. But the thing is, I did it. Yeah. And if I can do it, I don't like to say a whole lot. If I can do it, you can do it. Because I know everybody's different. But there's got to be something in you, which I know that you have, that's going to tell you, you know what, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And another big, big pointer I would like to say as well is to find your tribe. Your tribe is so important. The people that you are around are so important. Um, if you have people around you who are supporting you, you have people around you who's constantly letting you know that you're able to do it, that is going to be the difference between you being motivated to continue on with your goals versus being stagnant. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Find your tribe, right? And that's the whole reason even why we're doing this open house right now with Fitchix Academy is so that people can really just get to know us, get to know people in our community, like all of you amazing women, and just be able to share our message and show them like, hey, this is what we're about. And if you vibe with this, then we'd love to have you join our community, right? So I agree yes. with that. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. Thank um, you again. I really appreciate it. And <laughs> um, all right, so now we are going to have Susie join us. So Susie, hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? I'm very nervous. No, <laughs> you're going to be great. We're just having a chat. We're just hanging out. It's totally cool. Now, um, so again, going through very similar questions, why don't you just share a little bit more about your background, where you were at on your journey in your life before getting started with Fit Chicks Academy and sort of that why, what was that catalyst that made you make the decision as to this is the place that I want to go to. This is, I do want to get started in this industry. Um, well, before Fitchix, um, I had actually, um, I had kids at 30. Uh, I jumped from one kind of fitness slash diets to another. Um, and bad diets. <laughs> yeah, bad diets. Yeah. Um, so about six months before, uh, before I joined Fitchix, I was on keto and lost 30 pounds from it. And I was exercising regularly in a group setting at a gym. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, looked like the coaches were having a lot of fun. Um, so I decided that learning fitness and nutrition could help me uh, keep the momentum going, um, design my own workouts and go from there. Um, I've been married for 21 years. Uh, and I have two kids, 12 and nine. And I, his name is Healthy Body Coaching because I believe in a healthy body is not necessarily a slim, you know, cover model. Yeah. Um, which everybody should be a cover model. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> everybody is different and everybody is unique in its own way, right? And everybody has different goals and different beliefs. So we have to embrace that for sure. Now, what would you say um, in terms of your sort of biggest transformation. So since you graduated from the academy programs, what would be your biggest personal and professional transformation that you have seen in your life that has really impacted you in the way that you see things? Well, personally, it would have to be mindset. Um, I used to be an all or nothing kind of person. Um, now I'm like, as long as I'm doing 10% better than I was before, um, I'm doing really good. Um, 
and it's all about making positive changes um, just one at a time because if you try it all at once you're going to crash and you're going to revert back to your old self true um, professionally um, I'm kind of in the midst of starting an online program and um, I guess stepping out of my comfort zone which is exactly what I'm doing right now <laughs> I think a lot of you are right. I think a lot of you are feeling that like, that like, oh my gosh, I'm actually on camera. I can tell you for anyone watching right now and for all of you, it's just practice. It's just like when you're teaching your classes, right? When you, when you first teach your very first fitness class in like the fitness and nutrition program, when we have you practice teaching a class, it's always like the first one is really awkward, right? And you don't do as well as maybe in your mind, you would have like, you're always kind of like saying awkward things or doing awkward things. And I know that I did that for like months. I was like insanely awkward as a fitness instructor. And then it just gets a little bit better every time. So it's the same, it's the same thing on camera. Eventually you just get to a point where like, I don't even realize my camera's on. I'm just like talking, right. It just becomes super natural, but you're all doing amazing. You're doing great. <laughs> and setting, setting out of your comfort zone, all it does is help you grow and challenge you. So it's perfect. Now, what would you say, Susie, in terms of the sort of the blow your mind moment, like the thing that happened to you during the program or since you graduated from the program that you're just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm actually experiencing this right now. Um, well, um, number one is that I can do this. Everyone can do this. Yeah. As, um, as, uh, um, like, um, and some of the best things in life come from the scariest things in life. Very, very true. Um, at some point, you're going to have to put all the things you learned into action. I've kind of gotten stuck on the bandwagon where, you know, I would just want to get one certification and I love learning. I, if I, if someone would pay me to go to school, I would take that job. Um, <laughs> I know but, Laura, Laura's <laughs> in the background, so she can't say same, but I know that she's saying <laughs> too. <laughs> at, yeah, but at some point you're going to have to take, take that and put it, put what you've learned into action, which is why I've held off on taking the, um, um, the weight loss, the holistic nutrition, holistic, yes, weight loss it's on your, it's on your radar for C, yeah. which is amazing. <laughs> But I think that, you know, what you're saying though, is really, it's about, and we talk about this a lot, actually, like even on our podcast, we talk about the idea of, you know, when you think about investing versus spending, right? Like, cause what you're doing and you're saying you love to like learn and continue to grow. And it's really about when you invest in a skill set, you own that skill set for the rest of your life and you grow as a person. It's totally different than like spending time on something or spending money on something. Like if I spend money on a pair of shoes, I may not like them in six months, but if I spend, or if I invest money in my own growth of education, I have that skill set for the rest of my life. And it's, it's such a different thing, but I agree with you that you do want to start implementing, right? Which is also why, do you feel like in our academy that the way that we've set up the programs allows for you to be able to implement as soon as you graduate from the program? Like you feel very like, you've practiced it, you've learned it, and now you feel like you're ready to kind of take on those clients. I do. And like having to like do the practical and stuff like that it really kind of forces you to get out of your comfort zone. Um, I did take, um, which I'm going to answer part of my, I think next question is, or one of these questions here is, uh, don't wait until after the holidays to do your practical because um, I did. And then I was scrambling to get everything done. And, <laughs> um, and then COVID hit. So like things got put off for, I can't remember how long, but it was too long. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's COVID just- It made the world a weird place for a while. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, made, things, um, it made things a little bit of, it, it was just this layer of challenge that nobody knew how to navigate, right? And so I yeah. think- which is great. I mean, you, once you have the program, you have it like forever. So I've had to go back and rewatch some videos to like, with such a long break of not practicing those skills. Um, you can always go back and, and kind of relearn it. Yeah. That, I'm curious. And, you know, just, do you find that that's really helpful being able to be access um, all of the content again? So if you're like, oh, wait a second. Like, what was that about again? Or like, I can't remember this. Did you find that that was really helpful for you oh. to be able to access that constantly? Cause that is something that we feature in our program. Yeah, definitely. It's hundred percent. 
Yeah, that's perfect. And now what would be your, um, Susie, what would be your biggest piece of advice that you would give to someone who right now is in that same position or they're sitting here and they're watching today and they're considering getting certified, they're considering joining FitChicks Academy, joining this new bundled opportunity that we have with all of our certifications and getting started in this industry, but they're second guessing themselves. Um, well, you only really need to know 10% more than the people that you're leading. Um, you don't need to know the ins and outs of everything, just 10% more than, than them. Um, they can learn from you. Um, and like I said, don't wait until after the holidays to do your practical once you're in the program. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. Get I always here. say just don't just get the hard stuff out of the way first. <laughs> exactly. And um there will always be people that um naysayers, but do what you what is best for you and always remember your why. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, Susie. That was so powerful. I really appreciate it. And thank you for getting it, for jumping out of your comfort zone and leave, taking this leap of faith and joining us today because it's amazing. It wasn't too bad. No. <laughs> you did amazing. <laughs> All right. And finally, we have Corinne. Hi, Corinne. How are you? Uh, hi, Amanda. I'm well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much for joining us today um, and for sharing your message. So, Please share with all of our peeps a little bit more about you, a little bit more about um, where you were at before getting started in the FitChicks Academy and in this industry. Hey, well, my name is Corinne Bag. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit about what, where I was at before I started because um, I, yeah, I think that really for me was. Um, the, the beginning of an, uh, a new path for me. And I'm, I, I'm really excited about it. But so prior to joining Fitch, so I actually, I'll back up a bit. I'm um, in our provincial ambulance service. I've been in this service for almost 27 years. So, um, and I've worked from basically, I've been on the front lines for all that time. I've worked my way through from the, from being a paramedic all the way up into being an operations manager. And it's, quite a stressful job <laughs> to say the least. Um, so somewhere, I don't know, about 10 years ago, I started thinking like, eh, you know, all these people who are calling us for these health emergencies, you know, if we could just invest in helping them learn how to, um, you know, improve their health, um, to take personal action for doing that um, in a way that meets them where they're at instead of sort of this is what you should be doing but I don't know so I was like there's got to be a way there's got to be a way um and then I just yeah I just started feeling like this job is taking years off my life the stress is starting to get to me I really need to start planning an exit strategy for this career and what do I want to do next because I, I knew I didn't want to stop working um but I wanted to shift away from helping people in their health emergencies to helping them prevent health emer emergencies. And I was similar, yeah, <laughs> I was similar in looking, okay, like, how am I gonna do this? I live in small town um, in our province and like the closest city center is about three hours away. So I, I was like, I, I can't take, you know, leave my life for a month or a few weeks to go get certified and, or for that matter, work Monday to Friday and then take all these weekends and traveling to go do it. So how am I going to do this? And then blah, pop, <laughs> pop this ad on Facebook uh, for Fit Fitchicks Academy. Academy. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was, I was like, what? The universe is speaking to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it was amazing. So, um, yeah, I find it, found a way to make it work. And that was like, for me, that I knew I was like, okay, this is my path. I know what I'm meant to do now. And, and I'm meant to do this. And I loved the program so much. I actually um, signed up and took the holistic weight loss coaching as well, except I'm not finished full disclosure. I'm literally have finished my assignment, haven't turned it in and I need to do my final, but I got, I have to, because I let it lapse because last year was a little bit of a crazy year for me in my um, ambulance job. 
So now I just got to resign. And that's my 2023 goal is to get that certification done. Amazing. That's so good. And that's such yeah. a good goal to have. And I think, you know, again, same question for you, just out of curiosity, because you're in the, in, you're in the finishing <clears throat> stages of that certification. Have you found that after having the fitness and nutrition expert certification and then having the holistic nutrition program, have you felt like the education, the confidence, everything around nutrition and that deep dive, has that been extremely helpful for you in your knowledge base and feeling like you're really confident and ready to step into like weight loss, weight management and health coaching as well now? Absolutely. I, I, it was funny because, um, when I was in FNE, I actually, um, took a, a master class with Laura yeah. on the on the holistic weight loss coaching class and I remember writing a question in the comment section like is this the same nutrition um course as what's in FNE and she was like no it's way it's way deeper and I was like okay well you know I'll get this FNE under my belt and then kind of and I was like oh maybe next year maybe next year and then the opportunity came up I was like nope I have to take this because I think part of what my struggle was internally was I knew I, I, I knew I wanted to help women, especially in midlife to um, lose these extra midlife pounds they were gaining um, and sort of help them sort of regain love for their body again. Not I'm, and I struggled with that because this is why, because I also have this belief that um we should love our body no matter what size size should never you know we are worthy of all the love no matter what size our body is um no matter what so I really struggled with this but um the holistic weight loss nutrition or sorry the holistic weight loss coaching certification program really helped me to get better perspective on that this wasn't just about you know fat loss isn't just about having a specific sized body it's about um health for that individual whatever that looks like for them so it just really helps give me the confidence to say okay i i'm okay to do this because i i, I struggled with it i really had this internal battle with myself of how can i want to do this but also have these beliefs so right no and that's that's actually a really powerful point too because i think so many times when people hear the name holistic nutrition weight loss coach, they think it's going to be quick fixes or like fad diet mm -hmm. vibes or talking about it from a negative place, but it's actually presented in it, like, you know, we consider ourselves heart centered fitness professionals and health coaches, and we want to present yeah. all of our information in a way that's about embracing health and loving yourself enough to embrace your own health journey, whatever that looks like for you. Right. So every that's right body and every human has a different journey. And it's just about having that understanding and the knowledge to be able to support someone and meet them where they're at and help them reach their goals, whatever those goals look like. And it's really, not that's about, right. it's not about those, you know, the, the, a lot of the stuff that is out there in the industry, which is usually preying on um, people's insecurities. So I'm glad that yeah. you felt that after taking the course be or during the program, because I know that that's a big shift and that's a really important message that we like to also share. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, well, I, it was really, and I just remember hearing Laura on one of the coaching calls um, and she was talking about this and I was like, yes, okay, now this is making sense because in my mind, I was like, this is dichotomous thinking to think like, you know, I, I don't agree with fat dieting, but they also don't believe with anti-dieting I believe that we are all individuals and our bodies are what what's right for our bodies is personal choice and how I and I really want to be part of this movement that helps people shift away from this unhealthy fad dieting and into that sort of middle ground if you don't have to be one extreme or the other you can do what works for your body and that's okay so and you know it was it was just this coaching call that I was like oh <laughs> it was, it was just a huge, a huge moment of clarity for me. And had I not taken that program, I would have never learned this different perspective. So I love that. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. And so what would you say, Corinne, would be your biggest um, personal takeaway after graduating from the certification? And then also your biggest professional takeaway since graduating from Fitchix Academy? Oh my, yeah. So, per okay. Personally, the confidence, um, after my taking the FNE program was amazing. So I have always worked out 
um, it's funny because I know so many people have had this journey, but you know, I, I've never really personally struggled with body image. I've never I, like, I've been 20 pounds overweight. I've been, I grew up super thin. I really have never, it's never really phased me. Um, that being said, I, I love, I love strength training. Um, and I love what it does for my body and mind. And I think, think the biggest thing I, I went down this path of trying to do a bodybuilding competition at, and I shot out my adrenals I I just it was so unhealthy and uh, this gave me the confidence to be able to do strength training in the way that I like doing it um, and have the be able to support it with appropriate nutrition and honestly I had no idea how important the three S's, you know, the self-care, uh, stress management and sleep are, I had no idea how important that was. So that was a huge transformation for me personally, my own personal health. If I could show you pictures of what I looked like pre-taking this program and then afterwards, you would see dark circles under my bed. I mean, I know I'm puffy today, but I, I didn't sleep well last night, but I looked unhealthy. I looked really unhealthy before this program. So for me, that was my biggest personal transformation is my own, my own um, uh, health. Yeah. And, and also the belief in myself. So right. uh, professionally, um. I would say professionally gave me the confidence. Um, well, two, two things it gave me. It gave me community because I don't have a big community here where I live in terms of fitness professionals and surrounding myself with like-minded people. So that it gave me that online with our um, the Academy grad group, but even the, the student groups as well. So professionally, that was very helpful. Um, also, though, the confidence and knowledge to start a business like the business module is in both is amazing it's it was incredibly helpful so yeah I feel super confident <laughs> and so clear on who I want to help and how I want to help them and I love that you share that too because I think you know one of the things that we talk about and I talked about this yesterday um you know when we're building when we built out our certifications and when we're building up these bundled offer opportunities it's about giving you the education and the skills, but then also the business component. If your goal is to start a business, mm -hmm. there's no certifications out there that really support you in that way. They teach you the skill set or the theory, and then they don't show you how to implement. And then they definitely don't teach you the business side. And it's like, so you're left kind of holding a piece of paper going, okay, now what do I do? Versus actually having a full certification that then also offers a business component to say, okay, let's take all of that. And now let's actually implement. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a very important aspect. It's something that we prioritized when we built our academy um, in order to be able to support people on both sides of it, right? At the front end, when you're getting started and then once you graduate. So I love that you shared that. Thank you. Yeah. Amanda, can I just throw out one thing? The other thing, huge <laughs> takeaway for me that I had no idea was the importance of niching down. And <laughs> that for me, huge. And I know you talk about that all the time, especially like I remember taking so many um, f and &E coaching classes as well with you. Um, and yeah, you talked about that all the time. And that was a huge uh, learning point for me. It is. It's so, it's so important. If you, if yeah. you take that step, you're going to be like, you're just too general. It doesn't work. And yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And we teach that, but I don't think a lot of in the course for sure. <laughs> absolutely. And I don't think a lot of programs teach that because I've talked to lots of people. Like I know a lot of people now who've come out of um, nutrition programs and um, health coaching programs, and they don't really talk about that a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that was very helpful yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. So would you say, would you say that's your big mind blowing moment or what would you say is your biggest mind blowing? Like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe I didn't know that moment for you. I think, um, I think the, the whole, like, we don't have to be one or the other when it comes to, to fat loss. Like it, it yeah. you know, you, there's, there's an, a middle ground there, the, the messy middle, as I like to to call it. Uh, there's this, this middle ground where, you know, where we can all, um, we can 
we can all want something different for our body and it's, there's no wrong thing to want. It's how we go about it. That really makes the difference or matters. I love that. And so what would you say then, Corinne, um, for anyone who is watching now or who is thinking about getting started, what would be your biggest piece of advice for them so that they can just finally feel like, yes, I want to take action. I want to sign up with BitChicks Academy. I want to join this community. I want to start this in this industry. What would be your advice for them? Yeah, so for sure, I think everyone should take this program. I researched so many different certifications and I I am beyond happy that I took this program. So of course, I I think I'm biased, I know, but I think everybody should take this program. I cannot emphasize the value that I got out of this program. But I think my biggest advice aside from taking this program is find someone who is doing what you want to do and who is willing to mentor you so that you can um, you can get that support, bounce things off of them, whether that's Fit Chicks Academy, whether that's Amanda or Lori or some one of the grads in the group or one that it just to be able to surround yourself, like find a community of, of people who are willing uh, or who are, or who do what you want to do, like, you know, surround yourself with like minded people, but find that mentor that you can actually go to and, and have those deeper conversations with. I love that. And I agree with that 100%. I actually just talked about this yesterday in the open house. And I was saying, you know, that statement that you always hear, like you are the sum of the five people that you surround yourself with. Right. And Mm -hmm. one of the things that Laura and I always talk about is that we want to surround ourselves with the people that we know are believers that are doers that are dreamers that have like these huge aspirations that when someone hears it, they're like, that's crazy. We're like, those are our people, (laughs) right? Like those are the people. Cause we're just like, we want to, we want to just like bring on that, those, like that magic that can happen when you have that thought, but then also looking at the possibilities and then also learning from them and watching strategy and whether it's like business related or even just personal, right. I think just choosing, you know, and you can have, I, I always think of it as like different pods, right? Like you can have different pods, like your five people that you surround yourself with in your personal life. But then if it's like your professional yeah. your coaching life, maybe choose a different pod. Maybe that's a completely different pod that you're surrounding yourself with. And that's totally cool. Right. And that's what we have. We have like the business people that we look at. Then we have like people from like personal development side, cause we're both really into that. And then we have our professional and like our personal, like my obviously my husband and daughter, are like my crew, right. <laughs> that kind of thing. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> you want to surround yourself with those people and you want to surround them with the people that you feel like you can continue to grow with and learn from and that support you and support your dreams. And that want to see you succeed. Right. And they want to help you succeed. So mm-hmm. I can't, I can't agree with you more. So thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. This was amazing. Um, I love you all so much. And I'm so grateful that you all joined us today and decided to share your message and your story with us. Um, it's, it, it literally brings me to tears. Like I'm very like teary. I'm very emotional right now. I'm very like, and I'm just, I'm so grateful that I get to be a part of this journey. I know Laura feels the same that even for us to be this small part of your journey along this pathway is just, it's such an honor for us to be a part of it. And I truly mean that. And I'm just, you know, um, we're very humbled by it every single day that we get to be a part of this. So thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for sharing your message. Thank you for everybody that's watching. Now, before we jump off, I know I asked all of you, if you could write down on a piece of paper ahead of time, a word that is powerful to you. And it is some word that makes you just feel like when you, like, when you think of a word, it's like, you know, one of the things that we teach at Fitness Academy in our wellness section, we talk a lot about, um, in our wellness section, we talk about like affirmations and we talk about like mindset shifting and things like that. And one of the things that we always do is try to think of keywords that are really powerful that mean something to you. So I asked everyone to write it down. If everyone has their piece of paper, all I want you to do is just hold it up. You don't even have to explain it. We're just going to hold it up. And we're just going to share. So on the count of three, ready? All right. One, two, three. I hope everyone can read mine and we can just like shake it around. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So we've got, I've got fierce. We've got, uh, embody express and Rosemary. I can't embrace. read the last one. Embrace. Thank you. Embrace. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got strength, perseverance, accountability, Corinne. I can't read yours. What does yours say? 
uh, believe. <laughs> believe. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And that is 100%. Like all of these words are so powerful. They're so important. And I just, I just want to thank you again all so much for sharing your message. So I'm super grateful for everyone that is watching live. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and I look forward to continuing these conversations with all of you. I look forward to just continuing to hear about your journey and about your successes and um, just to continue to be a part of it and be a part of your community as well. So um, on that note, we are going to wrap it up for today. For everybody that is watching, again, as a reminder, we do have our Fitchix Academy bundles offered right now. This is something we've never offered before. Um, it includes our fitness and nutrition expert program, as well as our holistic nutrition course bundled together. We also have all of our certificate, I mean, all of our done for you programs, our business section, everything is in like this beautiful package for you, um, for the holidays. It's like our gift to you. And so we've packaged this all together. It is at an early bird special rate, and it is the best rate that you will ever get. We've never done this before. So if you are interested in joining Fitch Academy, please make sure that you go to fitchicksacademy.com forward slash bundles so that you can learn more. You can read about all of the different options. There's four different options that you can register for. There's different payment plans available. And if you have any questions, of course, comment below this video, let me know. And we are here to support you. And again, um, for all of our amazing, amazing graduates and students that are here joining us today, all of their contact details, all of their social handles will be added. So you can follow them. You can like them. You can I'm assuming everyone would be cool if they DM, if they have any questions specifically in regards to your business or anything like that. So um, definitely reach out, but check it out, fitchicksacademy.com forward slash bundles for more details on these amazing new opportunities for you to get started for 2023 and set you know, yourself up for 2023 to be the best year of your life for growth, for education, for everything. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much. Laura, thank you so much for being our admin. <laughs> and, and I will definitely um, speak to all of you soon. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.